So Roller City is known for its arts and crafts, and some of the most beautiful pieces can actually be found at Hazel's Blown Glass Factory. And we had a chance to see them made. You ready to see that, Mary Lee? I'm so ready. After you. All right, y'all, so I am here with Sean, who is a master craftsman here at Silver Dollar City, and I just want to know a little bit more about what got, it, what got you into this. Yeah, well, uh, I had a fortunate uh, beginning, and there was an artist that taught classes where I grew up in Michigan, so he just kind of close by. Michigan? Yeah, and jumped into it when I was in high school and uh, just really fell in love with it. So did you go to college for this? I specifically didn't go to college. Um, like I said, it was more on-the-job training for right. me. There, there are colleges that, that offer glass making for fine arts or for engineering, but um, you can also just find somebody to teach you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been blowing glass for 18 years. That's and... almost as old as me. I'm 21 right now. So. Oh, you're killing me, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so 18 years and there's a lot of practice in there, yeah. So I feel like I would be absolutely horrible at blowing glass. I would yeah. not know what to do if I stepped in there. How, how do you do it? Tons of practice. You know, there, I say there's always so many more ways to yeah. mess it up than there wow. is to do it right. Oh, uh, well, of course you can, um, you know, just scooping up the glass. We call it yeah. gathering the glass. Uh, it's, it's like honey on yeah. the end of a stick. So if you don't turn at the right speed, it's just going to drip right off the, onto the floor. Yeah. Um, of course, then when you're, when you're going to blow it up, yeah. um, it's, it's a very little pressure, which what a lot of people don't get really? is, yeah, so it's much less than blowing up a balloon. So if you, if you put too much pressure to it, you'll overexpand that bubble. Right. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't pop but it just overstretches and then like wrinkles up like a shopping bag. So Silver Dollar City is actually like super historic mm -hmm. and is glass blowing super historic? Like yeah, how back yeah. Is it so, you know, we're an 1880s theme park, but glass goes way past that yeah. or way before it, I guess you say. Uh, we've got something like 5,000 years of glass making history wow. of, um, you know, all over the world. There was yeah. different kind of uh, cultures that, that did their own things. And yeah. so we kind of pull from all that, you know, with all the different tools and techniques that we can use to, to kind of put our spin on the things that we make. Nice. Is there anything you want to tell the viewers at home about blowing glass, anything like that? Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's so much fun to make. Yeah. And I think it's such a unique thing to watch here specifically. Um, you know, we've got all the crafts that you can see, but like glass is, is something really special that you yeah. don't get to see anywhere. So, um, you know, we love questions and we love, um, you know, people getting to know more about it. All right, guys, we're still here at Hazel's and I'm here with Gabe today. Gabe, how you doing? Hey, doing great about yourself. Great, great. So how long have you been blowing glass for? Uh, I've been making glass for about 25 years now. 25 years. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And what was what was it like? How'd you get into it initially? Uh, my father was a glass maker. Oh. So my father was a glass maker right here at Silvar City. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he worked here for almost 25 years and then we ran a little glass shop up in Springfield for about 16. Uh, I've known Sean and Tim and uh, uh, for almost you know, over a decade now uh, and you know when we closed down our little shop up in Springfield they had a position down here and it's been a great you know a, a great fit ever since. Wow. How long have you been working here at the at Hazel's? Uh, about five years. Five years now and what's it like for you seeing the guests come in and watch you do oh. your magic? Yeah oh yeah well that's that's probably the single best part you know is just being able to share what we love uh, share our craft with People. Throughout the year, we make all these different things. In the spring, uh, in the summer, we're making lots of vases, lots of mugs, lots of olive oil bottles. Come uh, fall and winter, we're gonna start making a bunch of snowmen and a bunch of pumpkins, which are always some of our most popular things. Absolutely, and what is popular right now? What is flying off these shelves today? Our olive oil bottles. So we make these really beautiful, unique olive oil bottles. No two are gonna be the same. Uh, but right now we are just doing everything we can to try to keep the shelves full. To be completely honest, you said olive oil bottles and my brain was like, I need that. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge home cook and I yeah, love yeah. cooking yeah. and having just a piece like that in the house, man, it'd be fantastic. We love making utilitarian things, you know, so things that people can use every day. For us too, it's making every single one have its own personality and charisma. People get to pick out the one that they like. Uh, and for us, it's always so much fun because it's just an exercise in vessel making. You know, we get to make all these different shapes and profiles. It's a challenge 
challenge and then just being able to have something so direct that people can see it get done and then come back the next day and you can have it in your hands. Now, if I remember correctly, you guys have like little sections here for specific glassmakers like this person made these pieces. Do you have your own here? Yeah, yeah, we have just a whole selection of different things. While we work on a lot of pieces in team where we'll have either two or three glass blowers, maybe working on a whole series of like olive oil bottles, for example. Right. Uh, and we'll have somebody that's setting up all the color and gathering up all of it and they'll make half the bottle and then they hand it over to the finishers oh, okay. and then they peel it open, open it and put the handle on. Now that's a very traditional way of making glass. Literally how glass has been handmade for thousands of years. Uh, and then we also have our own particular pieces uh, where, you know, we have uh, Tim Weldon, he's kind of like our resident sculptor. And right. so you'll see a bunch of these really beautiful, intricate blown glass fish. Sean works with a lot of these kind of unorthodox glass making techniques. And so he has some really unique pieces in there as well. And then I tend to focus on glass that kind of harkens back and ha harkens back to some of the old Italian stuff with oh. some kind of modern takes and, and sensibilities to it. So in your five years of working here, what was your favorite piece, favorite piece that you've made? Oh, geez. You know, I guess one of the one of the most one of the most fun things about it is always kind of what's on the horizon, and we're always working on different products. It's we are constantly coming up with different designs, and then that's something that Silver Bar City really encourages us to do as well is make different things, make different and unique things. You know, explore our own artistic vision on on something like that too. So I guess. For me, it's always what I haven't made quite yet, you know, because I love working on series of things and I'll make a whole series of this particular piece and then you kind of get it out of your system and then you can you can come back to it and revisit it later. Absolutely, so before we let you go, what is something you want to tell the viewers at home about glass blowing in general? Oh, well, yeah, please come out and see us. You know, we absolutely love making glass. We are doing demos pretty much continuously all day, every day. So feel free, come on out and visit us. Say you saw us on Arkansas CW, yeah. That was so much fun. The skills these craftsmen had here at Silver Dollar City, second to none. That's right, Ron. Head on down to Hazel's, watch a demo, and pick up something for yourself.